Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert 3 eighths to a decimal. Now when we convert a fraction to a decimal, we can do this by dividing the numerator, the top number of the fraction, by the denominator, the bottom number of the fraction. So for 3 eighths, we can set this up as 3 divided by 8. And now we can go through the division process. So we have 3 divided by 8. How many whole groups of 8 in 3? How many 8s in 3? Well, we can't do that. So we need a decimal and a zero in order to work through this. And I'm actually going to extend the division bar as well. Now, once we have that decimal and the zero, we can bring the decimal straight up into where the quotient, the answer will be. And now we can think of this as 30 divided by eight. So how many whole groups of eight in 30? How many eights in 30? Well, three, that gets us to 24. And we need to put the three above the zero since we used that zero and thought of this as 30. And that's going to line us up correctly. Now we multiply three times eight, is 24, subtract 30 minus 24 is six. Now we don't have a clean cut zero there at the bottom, so we can continue on by using another zero that we can bring down, and now we have 60, 60 divided by eight. That's going to be seven, that gets us to 56. So we put seven up top there, and now we multiply seven times eight, is 56, subtract 60 minus 56 is four. So we still don't have that clean cut zero. So we can use another zero that we can bring down in order to continue on. Now we have 40, so we have 40 divided by eight. That gives us five. Now we multiply five times eight is 40, subtract, 40 minus 40 is zero. So we have that clean cut zero there at the bottom and nothing else to bring down within our problem. So we are done. 3 eighths equals 375 thousandths. So let's write this over here. 3 eighths equals 0 0.375. 375 thousandths. So there you have it. There's how to convert three-eighths to a decimal. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.